recording. All right, we're here with some five color shadow YouTube. Hit my recording a little late. God, we're just gonna get ranched here. I doubt this hits anything. It's a scheme shift. All right, so at least we know what we're doing here. <coughs> at least we know we're gonna die a miserable death. We were good sideboard against this deck, so I'm not super worried about it. Like we can easily win games two and three after boarding, but it does suck to lose a good matchup like this. Six cards, all these. All right, we're gonna play one more. We're gonna hopefully get a shadow into play, and then we have a stubborn denial up. Maybe we can slog through these bloodbraid elves. <coughs> Okay, so he drew a Valakut. All right, that's not bad. All right, so we're going to let this bolt hit us. We're going to let this thing hit us. And then we're going to go fetch a breeding pool. We're going to go fetch a breeding pool and push this thing. Let's seize the line. All right, we're still gonna fetch a breeding pool and get this. Oh, here we go. What are you drawing? RC. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Land. One, two, three, four, five, six. Land seven. So we can stub. We can stub a. Um, <clears throat> we can stub a scape shift. He tries to far seek into it. Okay. I mean, we're kind of doing it. Not really, but we're like still playing Magic the Gathering. Just gonna cast an elf. That's A-OK. -okay. Don't hit a bolt. Steve. Steve's annoying. <coughs> oh, I should have count I had to counter that. Because now Valakut's turned on sack Steve, kill my death shadow. Yeah, I had to counter that. Russell Wilson, the shadow went good. I went 5-0 in my first league, which was a four-color build. I went 1-3 in my second league, which was pretty unfortunate. And then I just went 0-2 drop with with a different four-color build. I went 0-2 drop with a with a blue, with a uh, four-color white build. <coughs> Little sideboard like this. Uh, I guess I want this is better than the fatal push. Both are good against Steve. <clears throat> so now we're just trying to lead with the old five color deck. I think if I stream, I'm going to stream again tonight. I'm going to stream one of my friend's decks to get a little shadow break. But then I think I'm going to try out <coughs> a. Death Shadow deck that doesn't have any Liliana of the Veils in it. Maybe it just has Liliana of the Last Hopes, and I put some Surgicals in my sideboard. What up, Phil? Dad, are we going to play later? Yes, we're going to play a lot later. We are, uh, we're going to go walk to mom's work later. Show mom off, show you off to all mom's friends. <coughs> okay. We gotta ship this. 
Yeah, the sand could be anything. That's good enough. Tireless tracker. Yeah, we gotta hit this relic. Because relic's gonna turn off my Tarmogoyf and my, um, and my Traverse. Tracker's gonna be annoying, but hopefully we can get in there, get, you know, around this thing before. Okay, so he's drawn a stomping ground. Thought Seize is a good draw. Tarmogoy is also a good draw. We're going to get Breeding Pool to slam this Goyf. Billy, do you want to be in on the stream? Come on, buddy. Come here. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're such a good puppy. We're going to play a lot this afternoon. You just ate. You're supposed to take a nap after you eat. Yeah. But, Dad, I don't want to. Okay. So, what do we do here, Phil? What do we do? Do we thought seize this tireless tracker or this beast within? I think we traverse. Yeah. What do we do, bud? What do we do, pal? When are we getting a Philly draft? He's not old enough for magic yet. And Philly's not going to draft. Philly's going to play Death Shadow. So what do we do, bud? We can either Thought Seize this Beast Within, because this thing's going to mess us up. Actually, it doesn't, the Beast Within doesn't really matter. So we can either Thought Seize the uh, Tireless Tracker, or we can just Battle Rage our Tarmogoyf now to get him for eight. And then traverse for like a shadow next turn. I think I like that. All right, Phil, we're battle raging. We're battle raging. It's going to set us up here. We're doing this because it gives us delirium for next turn. You got to tip this down so the chat can see you, Philbert. All right, there's the tracker. So annoying. But not the end of the world. Okay. All right, bud, you want to go down? You want to sit down? Dad, yes. Okay. All right, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> so I can traverse for a fetch land, traverse for a shadow, but then the beast within gets me. So I kind of just want to thought seize the beast within, or I could just traverse, play a Tarmogoyf, attack with both. Now I'm just gonna go like this. I should have done this first. I actually want to want to get a. Kind of get the street wraith. I want to now. I kind of want to get the Gore Clan Rampager when it matters, and then just get him. I can actually Gore Clan Rampager. Well, I should have done it that turn to make him chump next turn. If I draw a land, I can get a Gore Clan Rampager and kill him. You like the sound of that, Phil? Probably drew something to do with his mana. <coughs> okay. So now we have a Titan incoming, Phil. <coughs> Houston, we have a Titan. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Now we're walking the tightrope. My opponent's kind of a Titan. 
if they have an untapped land. Then Titan goes and gets the land Valakut. It doesn't kill me. So I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack first. See what my opponent does. Then I'm going to check my top card with Bobble so they block. I'm going to look at my top card, and I'm going to see what it is. If it's a land, then I'm not going to do anything. So Stubborn Denial. So what does Primeval Titan do? Primeval Titan, land, it's four, four swamps, or four, four mountains. Get a Valakut, get a fourth mountain, doesn't do anything. And I make it so the Primeval Titan has to block next turn. We drew a shadow. So now I play Stomping Ground. Cinder Blade, okay, so I know he has Stomping Ground. So I want another land so that, oh, he just gets the, I miscounted. Shoot. Oh, we were playing, we just played like a complete dick. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Yeah, I just, I tossed that one. So that's not my fault. That was that was not the deck's fault. That's my fault. <clears throat> and again, we got pretty unfortunate in game one, but game two was game two was definitely my fault, and that's frustrating. I just miscounted. I, I forgot. I, I forgot that like the death. I forgot that it could come into play with a certain amount of counters, or that they came into play. They saw each other. I think I might have taken all my skill out of the day too. I've been making. I've I've not played very well since I five out. <coughs> yeah, a little frustrating. Yeah, that was just, oh man. <sighs> All right, this hand's good. All right, let me move this back. Looks like we're playing against like a Value Town deck. Or we're playing against Bogles. Oh, gross. We drew a Fatal Push. All right, um, Abrupt Decay, that's a good one. Now we get another scry here. We don't want that one. So watery grit. We can go breeding pool, blood crypt. So let's go get a breeding pool. So now we have all of our mana. Then pass the turn to our opponent. Draw two cards. We can easily win this one. If we hit a shadow, even Tarmogoy's not bad because Tarmogoy's going to be pretty big. We're going to counter anything here. But I don't have anything. They just out of all the... Jeez. We really want a Death Shadow here. Because then I can play Shadow and have this Stubborn Denial up. Alternatively, I can kill this core, core spirit dancer on my turn instead of playing Goyf, which I think is pretty essential. So now I'm going to go get Blood Crypt, hit this, still hold up the battle or the stub, and I can hold the stub up for next turn and play Tarmogoyf. <coughs> we got a good shot to win this one, I think. <clears throat> OK, 
go. So now I probably got to actually just get rid of this core spirit dancer. But I can't just let him sit here and draw cards. I can have stubborn denial up for another threat. Or maybe it's just more important to get my Tarmogoyf in play and then just deal with this for one turn. Oh, well, now I can do both. Gas. All right, I'm going to fetch a basic here. My bonus draw did line up with mine. And now the shields are down, but we can recover next turn between Abrupt Decay and the Stubborn Denial. We just hope that he doesn't have a main deck path to exile. So I think some of these decks do play a main deck path. You know, Daybreak Court at me, fam? No, you're not. No, you're not. Block. I play two paths? All right, good to know. I don't even know if it's worth playing this Tarma Life. It doesn't really change my clock. So I'm gonna try to sit back behind Stubborn Denial and Abrupt Decay. Cause so like now he's dead to Battle Rage. Sweet. All right, so we're down to three. Now we get to Battle Rage plus backup. Tilt. Okay, I'm going to start by attacking. And there's actually a legitimate argument to my opponent not blocking because of Liliana. Okay. So what's better? We're dead on the board here. Is it better to abrupt a case? I think I probably play just another Tarmal Life. Let me Inquisition my opponent and see what they have. A land. Oh my god, are you kidding? Oh my gosh. <coughs> We're four hours into the stream and I'm falling apart. We have Inquisition first. I just assumed that it was a sorcery in the graveyard. Ethereal armor, whatever. I'm gonna kill you on the crackback, but if we had just Inquisition first, they'd be dead. Well, we got him six ways to Sunday. Yeah, that was that was another pun. We, I'm definitely like I'm a little under the weather, and I've been definitely struggling a little bit. The more that I've, the longer these leagues have gone here, but I just tossed that Titan Shift match up. Well, at least the game. All right, we're gonna bring this in. I like the Radiant Flames a lot because sometimes they keep hands that are based on a. They don't have a lot of they have a lot of creatures in a ley line, but they don't have a way to protect this. They don't have a way to like protect their pup their creatures. Grim Flare is not gonna be very good here. So let's go like this. Actually, no, I'm gonna cut a traverse because they're gonna bring in rest in peace. This hand's pretty good. Here comes the Leyline. This hand's good against Leyline, too. And they don't have a creature. Gas. <coughs> I'm not going to cycle this Street Wraith, because 
it doesn't do anything. Like we're not, there's no one drop play we could do that matters. Yep, we're just gonna let this go. Um, I think I want to get breeding pool. Give myself the option of fetch basic swamp. <clears throat> no, that was stupid. I should have given myself the chance to play double death shadow next turn. Gosh, I'm all over the place. Okay, well, at least the Battle Rage is a good draw. We're going to put the shields down. I mean, there's nothing we can do to defend ourselves here. But we're going to get a Swamp. Okay, Spirit Mantle's fine. We can beat that. Okay, they're just trying to... Let's hope this last card they have isn't Path. So I'm going to attack, and then I'm just going to Abrupt Decay the Spirit Mantle. I think it's too juicy to not do. This gets me Blood Crypt. It's a gutsy block. If they block, that means they have Path. So I might not even go for it. Yeah. And if my opponent, like, taps out or plays a whatever it is, a Daybreak Cornet, I'll just take a shot and then Abrupt Decay the Spirit Mantle, which will get the Cornet as well. <coughs> I'm aiming to take a lot of damage here, Joey. Or a lot of damage here. Okay, so there's the Cornet. Don't have another enchantment. All right, great. So we'll take five. And then I will attack with both of my creatures and then Abrupt Decay the Spirit Mantle, which will take them off of the Daybreak Cornet as well, which will give us a two for one. If he blocks, we're going to get a three for one, unless he doesn't even have Path up. So we really can attack and just not even care next turn. That's even that's another fantastic draw. With double battle rage, we should be this game should be just about put away. I'm gonna leave this in my hand so I can have the option to shock next turn. I don't really I'm not gonna need the mana. So in response, I'm going to kill this Spirit Mantle to another thing coming into play. So now we get two for one. And I eat this and I basically a three for one. They're going to pass this, it looks like. Okay. Oh, we don't have another basic. We're playing five color. <coughs> And we kill him this turn through. He's going to have to have good blocks here in order to not die. Okay, that. Do we have a second red source in this deck? No, just the Blood Crypt. Okay. So now we kill him here if he doesn't block right. He has to block both, that, both of these or he dies. So I'll just Battle Rage this one. 8, 6, 10. Get out of here, Bogles. Okay, draw a card. Just see what we have coming. Okay, well, we're off the schneid.
I think I'm actually going to restart Moto here. So let me put up sponsor page. I appreciate y'all being here to show out, show up today. <clears throat> I hope you're having a good day as well. My name is Dylan Hubby. You are wandering on my stream. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. Card Hoarder is the best bot chain in the business. That's where you should get all of your Magic Online needs between, you know, their great service, the team, and the podcast. They just do a lot for the Magic community. Gamer Craze is another store that does a lot of charity work. It's where I learned to play Magic. It's near and dear to my heart. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. So if you need anything from Gamer Craze, then, or any sort of Magic cards or other gaming things, you should check them out. Um, I archive all my streams on YouTube. All four decks will be on YouTube today, this afternoon. And if you want to support me the most, subscribe without spending any of your money. Subscribing on YouTube is the best way to do it. Um, and then if you ever want to interact with me about magic, you should check me out on Twitter. That's where I like to chat magic. And if you want to go above and beyond, all subscriptions go to making sure Philly Boy is good and fed. So, looks like we're loading up here. All right, here we go. We're back in. We're back in business. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Down, no. The boys are back in town. Quill, thank you very much for the follow. If you are still in the chat, I always mute my notifications because it messes with my uh, YouTube pay. My YouTube uh, messes with the YouTube sounds if I have like booging going on. Speaking of the Card Hoarder podcast, the new one just came out. So y'all should check out that. Okay, we're playing against guys one and two. Poor dude. Oh, my uh, my sister-in-law got me these for my birthday, which is pretty nice. Pretty happy to have these. Um, I would like to play first. And we'll keep this hand. We can traverse for a second land if we need to. Well, I could turn back time. I wonder what's going on with uh with Nightbot. I was trying to get Nightbot to play music today, but it wouldn't even like turn on. Didn't even acknowledge me. Nightbot is so mean. Okay, so we're gonna bobble them, see what they have going on. Okay, we're back. Had a little tweak out there, but we're back. It appears we dropped dropped a little bit of frames. Scavenging news. We're playing against Jund. Redemption. Mm. We are not playing against Jund. It is much worse. Playing against a sort of aggro deck here. Loxon Smiter's big. 
Doesn't lose a lot of fights. Slayer Stronghold in a non... Uh, whatever it is deck. In a non-amulet deck. This should be interesting. <laughs> okay. So we're actually going to push the ooze, decay the first smiter, and then we're going to edict the second smiter. <laughs> and then we're probably not going to do anything with our Liliana as we just actually can't beat like a free smiter. Smiter's big. Then I'll traverse for a death shadow, get at least a two two get a one one death shadow into play. <clears throat> I like this deck. This is the first deck I ever played in modern. Yep. Naya Zoo. This deck hits me in the feels. Kasali Pride Mage. Okay. Um I'm gonna push that just for delirium's sake. Here. I don't like killing cards like this, but I need delirium. He's probably waiting to get a little value off his scavenging ooze. So I know all five of my opponent's cards. That's nice. So what's the better card? I don't really have anything going on. So I'm actually just gonna go. I could get Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf's not that big though, and the scavenging is gonna mess with it. I think they're going to have a really difficult time killing a Grim Flayer. So I think I'm just going to go get Grim Flayer. Grim Flayer right here. Because <clears throat> like if they find... I don't have any more way to pay life. And if they find a way to get in front of my... Uh, my flare with like, or they find a way to kill a shadow or make it so like they put up an, a wall that's tough to get around, then I'm not going to get as much out of this. <coughs> they easily can go like forest ooze, eat something. And then shrink this. <coughs> but then these will still trade. Okay, so he eats my bobble. Which is all right. I'm just going to use all my mana here. I'll do another bobble gas. Actually, I'm going to bobble my opponent. And then I'm going to use this activated. I'm going to use this ability. They're drawing in a coddle. So I'm going to need two removal spells next turn. So I'm more than likely just going to cast Liliana and Edict just to be mana efficient. I know three out of four out of the five cards my opponent will have access to. Just more removal. And they're not gonna they have they just the only way that they can deal with this card is like path to exile. And if this thing's just gonna provide such a snowball y advantage. Like, they're going to play two creatures. We'll get both of them. <clears throat> so it comes Ooze and Nakadal. They could just play Nakadal, give it haste, and kill my Liliana, which is fine. Okay. I don't really see why they did that when they can just pin this Liliana. Oh, they tried to hit me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what they did now. I get it. So now I just decay. So I need to hold up removal spells basically for the rest of the game. <clears throat> Don't want any of these. So we're going to decay. Push this. Decay the smiter that's going to come down. We're not ticking up because that's a good way to die. Let him attack. Where's this going at? I mean, it's probably going at me. 
Right, Decay to Smiter. Just have the, all of our removal spells. Can't cast that. So I want like another creature here. This isn't bad. Neither is the Battle Rage, though. We're going to go for the Battle Rage kill next turn. And, um... We're going to go try to kill him with Battle Rage. <clears throat> Is it a Dryad Arbor? That's going to suck. Okay. We're going to decay this big old schmighty boy. Yeah. We got him. And now we rage. Old Ric Flair got us there. Okay. Okay, so I don't think I want my count my counter spells unless I see collected company. I think I want the Ranger in order to go bigger than he does. Uh, the brutalities are probably fine. I need to board this in. Cutting. Where's the blue land? I could bring in these radiant flames. They're probably better than Inquisitions. They're probably better than Liliana's. Yeah, I don't want Liliana's in the face of Lockset on Smiters. I probably could cut one of these and just board this in. Like, worst comes to worst, I cast it and it's huge. <coughs> Rick Flair was gas. Grim Flare was sick. Now, how that game turned out, Death Shadow would have been good also. But I don't know if I would have died without enough removal. I don't keep this. This hand's like there's four, a lot of cantrips. We can play around with our bobble. We have early pressure. Battle Rage is very good. I doubt they can beat this card. Removal spell or discard spell is what we're looking for here. We're not going to need a second one. Okay, so they got a Nactyl coming. So we draw two cards, okay. So we're gonna get some. We're gonna get at least two, three threes next turn. Two big boys. Two big old shadows. Two grande duders. Hey buddy, I asked earlier. I don't think I don't think whispers are ever cool as a playable magic card. I asked for sure to go. I feel like many more of us in the Traurus white lists. I've been running two main recently. Everything's blood moon, helps make the pass a little dingy for stuff. I see how it works. I definitely see what you you know what you're looking to do here. Um one second. Uh, I think I'm just gonna play double shadow. 
Um, really helps against Blood Moon. So I don't think the deck has a Blood Moon problem. Like, if, if like you saw, if you look back at my, I don't know how long you've been on my stream here, but like, a couple of my opponents played Blood Moon on three and then died because of it. Like, Blood Moon's not the problem. Degenerate combo decks are the problem for the white decks. And I think that with humans being the best deck in the format, I really don't think that you want, um, I really don't think that you want whatever it is. Um, Manamorphos in the deck. <clears throat> Manamorphos also makes it difficult to sideboard because going down to 17 lands, like you, you have, you become, you have more of your deck is now an engine. So I can win this turn, right? Like I just go fetch shock, eight, battle rage, something. He needs to put at least two blockers. In, he needs to put two blockers in front of everything, and he can't do that. So yeah, he's just dead. This is just a real bad matchup for decks like this because, like, the advantage of these kind of decks is that your creatures are huge. Your creatures are massive, but like they're not even as big as 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 mine are. <clears throat> yep. Like, in my opinion, in modern, unless you're playing your deck because you like it, which is which is totally fine. If you're playing from like a spiky competitive side and you want to play disruption with big creatures, you can either play like a zoo deck like that, Death Shadow or um, Eldrazi. And there's just no reason to play Death, to play Eldrazi or big creatures like that. Uh, this hand's okay. We got a little bit of delirium action here. <clears throat> All right, we don't want that. So I'm trying to get Watery Grave, and then cycle my Street Wraith. What the hell? What is going on? I'm just gonna take this looting. Bridge from below. That's one you don't see very, very often in this format. What did foothills? Here comes Neon 8. All right, so I really, really need <clears throat> a creature. If I have a creature, I'm gonna beat this draw fairly easily from my opponent. But if I don't have a creature, then I'm gonna struggle quite a bit. Blue. Yeah, I like the like. I wish I could play the white deck, but there's just too much degeneracy in modern. If I could cut out like six decks in modern, I'd play the white version. But I can't do that. If I knew I was gonna play against like a very fair meta game, I'd play the white version. But but it just it just ain't in the process here. Oh, he's just gonna. She. This is Holy Diver, right? This is the. Yeah, they're just gonna play News Constrictor. Discard three cards. <coughs> the fuck? What is this? I am uncomfortable because I don't know what's happening. We're going to need a Venge Vine? Okay. What's going on? 
Strange. Hello. Alright, I need a shadow this turn. I'm taking five. So I need a shadow like this turn. And I can traverse for it. <coughs> or I can draw it. Crack me for four. A shadow gets me out of this. Because I just battle rage over the top of whatever they do. But we get some serious shenanigans going on over here. Dobbs. We just didn't find a creature. Okay. So I want this. What does Stubborn Denial even do? I have no idea what's going on. <coughs> I think I'm not really. I'm not. I'm, I'm a little confused. I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable when I when I'm confused playing this format. I play it enough to not be uncomfortable. Ugh. I don't really know how this deck works, which is never a good place to be in modern. I'm just not super excited about that. Would like to play first. All right, we got a dude. I guess we can keep this. But if we got, we're doing something. We're on the board. Yeah, that's got to be good. I think this is a matchup where we're keeping our life total high. I think we're fetching the end of turn and it's coming into play tapped. They just play a tap land. I will gladly trade tap lands for my opponent. I don't really understand what's going on over there. I'm going to play Grim Flare. Give me a little snowball advantage. <clears throat> If I draw a discard spell, I can go like discard into Battle Rage to get Delirium. Ballista. All right, that's good. All right, so operation one is to make this guy a 4-4. Yep, that does it. So we're just gonna bin all of these to make get delirium. And then play this big big boy. <coughs> and now we can radiant flames safely. So even if they do so something weird with the bridge, I guess, we, we got outs to it. Cycle Street Wraith, okay. Don't know. This is very uncomfortable playing against this deck. 
I just like thoroughly don't like it when I don't. I mean, I must have said it before, but like, I've never seen Walking Blister plus Stomping Ground in the deck. This got Vengevine in it. Bridge, dredge vine, okay. Alright. Here come a bunch of them. Alright, so this doesn't do anything. <clears throat> do I just block? Two, four, seven, twelve. So I should block this. Yeah, I get what's going on now. I just don't like it. Okay, this is sixteen. Oh, they, they make tokens. Shit. Oh, shit. He make, they make tokens. They block, and that doesn't necessarily kill me, I don't think, but it might. Oh, missed. Yeah. Did it right after I did it. I was like, I oh, missed that. I mean, I'm going to get in for a million damage here, and then I got another Death Shadow to play. I'm sure there's draws where I die from this position. This has got to be better than a random draw, I think. <coughs> I don't know if I can die this turn. So you need to block all of my creatures. The problem is, they need to put all the power in front of Grimflare. So I, I might be able to generate a, we might still be all right here. Because I can just kill something that Grimflare hits after combat. Or after blocks have been declared before damage, I can just like push something or decay something. So they have to put like dredge, they have to put like Vengevine? No way. No way. So they have like two hangerback walkers I die. <coughs> Land plus hollow one hangerback walker. I'm so uncomfortable. So I'm just going to block. I don't want to get down that low of life. They get a Vengevine back. So they block one. Unless they have... Okay. So they're just playing to that. Playing. They probably had like a hanger. I don't know. I have no idea. Um. I don't think I want these. I'm pretty sure just like collective brutality, gaining life is probably better. And this kills zombies. <clears throat> yeah, this hand's fine. Like, Battle Rage is a card that we're going to need to win, I think. A little slow, but we'll just... We'll take it on the slow route. 
You can fetch like basic, basic, or you can't fetch two basics with the five color version. Pretty soft to a hollow one, but like, welcome to modern. Where everybody's soft to a hollow one on one. Hopefully I just don't get to see two. Nice. Um, we're going to fetch a basic. So I can't stop this thing from coming back next turn. What I can do is I can take this Flame King Harbinger, make so I can't get another, another Duder. So no matter what, I'm getting smacked by a Vengevine here. Because they just go Neonate, Ballista. So I cycle the Street Wraith first, which just makes sense. <coughs> they hit a bridge. Oh, the bridge sees this? At least you discard a card, yep. All right, at least Tarmogoy is bigger than this thing. Oh, they do another one. Oh my god. This is just nuts. I need a Death Shadow. Thirteen, ten block, take eight. How do I like survive? So I just need to like rip radiant flames. Oh shit. Yeah, I think I don't think I have any outs here. I go to ten. I can't go fetch shock. Damn. There's my death shadow, just a turn late. I could have killed this, but it would have just brought another zombie back and it would have just done the same amount of life points, I guess. I don't know. I got, I think I got got here for sure. Yep. <coughs> yeah, I got got there. All right, let's finish out the stream here with a W. Again, thank you everybody for showing up and hanging out today. I've had a pretty good stream. Had a couple hosts, a couple follows. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you guys really like what you see, go over to my YouTube page and subscribe. It's all linked below. YouTube subscriptions are the best way to support me. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You know, it's just the best way to do it. I'm not looking to, you know, if you want to be a subscriber on Twitch, you can. But the easiest way for all of us to work here is just for you to subscribe on Twitch or on YouTube. So that's what I'm looking for. If y'all are feeling jealous, if y'all are feeling generous, that's the best way, best thing you can do. Thanks, Absoflits. Uh, I don't know, I can't pronounce, can't pronounce your name. Abs, absolute fits, absolute flips. This will be the last match of this morning. I'll be back this afternoon. I don't recognize my opponent's name. <coughs> Shipping it, Peter. So the only way I will, I'm not going to fetch if there's a fetch line on top of my deck. Because I can go Death Shadow, Thoughtseize on my turn two and not miss any tempo. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna fetch anyways. Check their top card. I should have put a card on top. Whenever you're on the play, and even if you have a, if you have a fetch land, you should always top your card to make your opponent think. They think a lot more if you put a card on top than if you think put a card on the bottom. It's just like a small thing. Pass. That's not good. All right, we're just going to take one path. Looks like we're playing against the Value Town deck, which we've got a decent setup for. As long as I draw a second land, I can play Tarma Wife and Death Shadow. Yeah, so this isn't bad. That was wrong. Should have got a blue source. Should hold my red source until it's time to battle rage my opponent. <clears throat> Protect it. Because now they can go like... They can go like birds, path, ghost quarter. And then I'm just like not playing magic anymore. And I should have played death shadow. Ramanop excavator. So I'm just gonna battle rage my Tarma Wife this 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 turn here, just to get in the most amount of damage and to make it so I have Delirium. Well, now I don't think I'm going to. And their battle rage is gonna win me the game. I guess I still could have done it. Get in four more points of damage. Because I'm just in the same position next turn. And I can't traverse and play my Death Shadow. Yeah, I definitely should have just... That was stupid. Incoming Collected Company. So I should be able to blow this company up inside of combat, though. I got Upkeep Path Me. Upkeep company. <clears throat> that gives me delirium. Traverse. For another street wraith. Cycle street. Traverse for a fetch land. Deal nine. Six to myself. I think we're just going to go for a kill here. I'm gonna go get a fetch land. And if my opponent companies, then I'm just gonna try and kill him. If they don't company here, I'm gonna be pretty sad. So yeah, let this go. Okay. So wait, my opponent's already blocked and they're trying to pass here. No, because they have a path to exile. All right, so I'm gonna fetch now so that we don't get got by an Aven Mind Sensor and then just Battle Rage and kill my opponent. Let's just pray that they don't have like a Reflector Mage 
They'd have fetched a blue land there if they had Reflector Mage. Yeah, Voice Knight. Good night. Will you consider the white package of Souls and or Path? Just Souls instead of blue. That was the first deck, that, the second deck that I played. You can look at my Stream Decker and check it out. This matchup is very much Battle Rage or Bust. I just think Modern is too degenerate for that. I would like to be able to play the White Splash, but there's just too much crap going on. And by crap, I mean like fair combo decks and then crap combo decks. So like good combo decks and bad. The old no land heater. All right, we're gonna keep it. Put this on top. <coughs> it's an answer to a company. And again, we're not going to expose our red source until it's game. Gas, attack me, please. Attack me, I get both my shadows into play. You motherfucker, dude. Should have fetched. Nice. So now we check out what they got. Because this lets us put, get two. It's going to deal enough damage to get a bunch of death shadows in play. Or one death shadow. All right, not going to give my opponent the option. I guess I should have thought seized before finding before the second one. That was stupid. It doesn't really matter. Because <coughs> they could have easily just played around Stubborn Denial. What we're going to hope here is hope they don't go for it on their turn. We didn't show them any blue lands. Don't go for it, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. You piece of garbage. You piece of garbage making a good play. Tilt. Kind of a tilt. All right, so I can decay this and then get in for five at least. No, that was just a bad play on my part. All right, so I'm going to attack. I'm just going to fetch shock. They can't kill me next turn, so. <coughs> They're drawing cards. Drawing cards. And now it's like Battle Rage. Battle Rage or Blast is where, where we are right now. My opponent can crack me for six here. <coughs> if they so please. Seven. I think Battle Rage doesn't even do it for me. All right, Turtle Lord's not bad. What happens if I attack? If I attack, they just jump here. Then I get Tarmogoyf down. They go get Gaviny Township. I'm still okay. Yeah, so they're definitely jumping with a Noble Hierarch here. There's no way they're tossing this Knight under the bus. Wow, they just take it? Okay.
I didn't fetch there because I can take a shot from this knight, and they if they go get Gavity Township, I guess Gavity Township doesn't do anything because they have to tap all their creatures. I should have fetched. Should have done a million damage to them. That was dumb. <coughs> Give me some of that Ghost Quarter action. That Ghost Quarter is my red source written all over it. So I have to jump, which is okay because it gives me delirium. Which I do have the Gore Clan Rampager in my deck, so I can go get the Rampager here. We're just like going for it, aren't we? Seven, eleven doesn't do it. Tilt. So I need another shadow. That's what you're telling me there. There, dudes. I can get another death shadow and just wait. <clears throat> If I would have fetched, if I would have done more damage last turn, I'd have had him. I mean, like, that Shadow decks in the past have played a few, um, whatever they are, have played a few select lands, like creature lands. But, not creature lands, I've played some Phyrexian spells, but Gutshot's just pretty narrow. So I can just get this off the table, which is the plan here. Nope. Yeah, that's bad. That's a decent draw. I guess it makes my shadows larger than these knights. Whoa, whoa, what does that do? What does that do? That makes so they have to chump block with both of their knights. But then I trade my board. What does that do? What got? Well, the Radiant Flames is interesting. So if I attack with both of my shadows, so it's like best case scenario, I trade away the board, <clears throat> right? Because these knights are so big. But these knights are gonna get huge. But then they can just take one, they just block and take six, and then just like kill me. Yeah, I think I've actually just gotta pass. Because I can only get to nine. Yeah. 
it looked good for sure but like the best case scenario there for me was that my opponent and I traded away the board I think <coughs> So now we're going to get at least one knight off the battlefield. At least I think. I don't know. I don't think there's a way that they, can, they can make this an 18-18. But, you know, if they make this an 18-18, good. More power to them. Yeah, he's gonna pop a lot of there's gonna be a lot of a lot of stuff going on here. Shouldn't have done that. I should have fetched my blue source just to make it so I could hit Radiant Flames next turn. Now I'm muffed. Radiant Flames would have won me. Well, actually, fetch land into Radiant Flames would have won me the game. So we tossed. We tossed it. Made a bad play. Should have got my blue source because that cuts off Traverse as a win also. That was stupid. And again, that's five hours into the stream where I'm a, I'm a little tired. <coughs> So I dropped Traverse or Fetch Land. We're going to Tilt Town. Yeah. Yeah, we made a mistake here. I just did it. Like, I wasn't thinking. did it right into him. So Fetch Land or Traverse. All right. We're dead, but let's see what could have, let's see what could have been. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I guess I wouldn't, it wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't have won, well, no, I would have, I would have had it, well, no, no, I wouldn't have, because I needed the land. All right, we're going to run it back. Yeah, that was dumb. All right, let's see if we can finish out here. I see so many new cards, and I really like Grim Flare against this thing, but I don't have anything to do on turn one. Grimflare is so good though in the early game because of Trample, but I'm so far away from Delirium. Yeah. This hand's like kind of worse, but at least I can. At least I have a threat on turn one. So this is the last match today. I'm going to be going um, tonight. I'm going to stream. I've, I've, I've honed down the two decks that I want to play. I'm going to stream a little bit more of those. Um. We've been going up for five hours and four minutes, so I'm, I need to spend some time with my puppy too. Yeah, having the, hitting this land naturally isn't worth missing out on my or having the potential for a death shadow on turn two, because like if I go fetch shock here, hit a land, then I'm in business. I played four different shadow decks today, counter guy, because um, <clears throat> like I haven't played death shadow without bloodbright elf in a couple months. So I've got to figure out exactly what I want there. God, well imagine if my opponent gets the sick reads and just ghost quarters me on turn one. I'm like, damn. But I'll be back up this morning or this afternoon. Ghost quarter, ghost quarter. All right, scavenging news is the scary card. So what I need, I need an untapped land. I need a fetch land next turn.
All right, this is getting worse. And this is a bad matchup for Death Shadow decks. Death Shadow, when they, Death Shadow is really poor against decks that harass your mana base. My opponent could just see through this line and just ghost quarter my overgrown tomb here, and I don't have any lands left. Yeah, see, they're going to do it. They're just going to snap this thing off right here. Oh, they're going to play a Hierarch. So you have a knight coming off the top. All right, well, there's there we can get Death Shadow into play next turn, which is good. <coughs> what do they have a company? No. The one card they drew was the collecting company. Hey, Phil, no. All right, so I'm just gonna swing in with this, abrupt decay this knight, fetch a blue, fetch my watery grave, and play this death shadow. And then like just hold out for battle rage. He's going to pop both of these. <coughs> hey, no, Phil. No. No chewing on stuff, Phil. But, Dad, you got to play with me. Don't worry. Mind sensor. Yep. Bang, bang. 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 All right, we're getting in here. Tongue Lake's going in hot. This game is over. We are so dead. Night, another ghost quarter. All right, we're holding out. We're holding out. We draw a fetch land next turn. Maybe we can do some stuff. We draw a fetch land next turn, and the card and both of our lands are in the top four cards of our library. We can do it. We can do it, chat. <coughs> All right, we got a line. It's draw a fetch land and then hit twice next turn. And then we then we're in it. Ghost quarter. They're just gonna ghost quarter my fetch land. Oh, they're gonna crack a okay. He should ghost quarter my fetch land. Like really my only I guess I guess maybe ghost quartering my fetch land's a little aggressive. Yeah, the rest of the game. And we're going for the Hail Mary here. They're just playing with their food at this point. Like, because of this Mind Sensor. How many damage? How much damage is this? Eight, nine, take. Oh, I guess I'm just going to take it. I don't think it matters. <laughs> oh, he just kills me. He goes like land. Ten goes quarter. Yep. We got a block there, but like, you know, what are we doing? 
They should also know not to strip a fetch. Well, they can at least strip a fetch while they have Avid Mind Sensor in play. All right, so let's go back here. Let's look at it. Let me shut this thing off here. 